I just get out of prison and boy, are my arms tired. All right. <laughs> 2020 was a good year for me. I came back from deployment. I got out of the Marine Corps and I moved to DC. It's a weird time because I'm a little antisocial and well, it was, it was during COVID. So there's no small talk, just anti-social distancing. Everyone's wearing a mask, which is cool for me because I also have a ventriloquism kink. <laughs> I was having a great time. And then uh, all that kind of changed on January 6th. <laughs> Let's make it fun. Yeah. In the 80s and the 90s, terrorists just look like any dude in a turtleneck. Right? And we had 20 years of smooth sailing with GWAT, and after January 6th, if you described a domestic terrorist, this is it. I went from looking like an LL Bean model to the insurrection is casual catalog. I'm leaving the house, and you're not sure if I'm going to go climb Old Rag or the Capitol. I'm a big hockey fan. I want to cheer for my team, the Capitals, but every time I say, let's go Caps, people aren't sure if I'm rooting for my team or giving vague directions to terror. <laughs> Not ideal, but you know, I like messing with people. I'm jumping the cab. Cab looks in the rearview mirror like you just saw Beetlejuice. <laughs> he says, where to? I said, you just drop me up here on the left, but. Make sure it's not within 300 feet of a government building. <laughs> Walk into a 7-Eleven, just like an old Western, just. <laughs> Me and the attendant just like locked in a profiling stare at each other. <laughs> he says, you kind of look like one, are you? I said, no. You kind of look like one, are you? He said, no. <laughs> okay, okay, buddy, what do you want? I said, I'll take big orange. He said, what? I meant big red, the chewing gum. I'll take the chewing gum, man. Yeah. In less than one year, I went from actively hunting terrorists to looking like one. <laughs> and Lawrence of Appalachia was not the glow up I had on my bingo card. I love DC, it's a great time, but it, it's an expensive city. You gotta, you know, if you're working stiff, you gotta have a side hustle. <laughs> Every annoying YouTube ad that I skip tells me so. You gotta have a side hustle, right? When chicks ask me what they do, I tell them I'm in finance. It's, uh, it's short for financial ruin, but <laughs> tell them I'm in finance usually plays better. I think I finally came up with the side hustle though. You know, they've got those live cameras. They put them in like the zoos or a, a panda exhibit. You can see them growing. I want to do that uh, in every Waffle House in America. <laughs> so you can just scroll through them and see combat on demand. <laughs> Was that Waziristan? No, Waffle House. Yeah. <laughs> Luke will be there looking at it like some ISR. Like, what, what fob is that getting overrun? Oh, Waffle House 153 off the Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> they call it the QRF, but it doesn't look good. Yeah. I don't have a name for it now, but off the top of my head, I'm thinking maybe only waffles. Uh, yeah. yeah. Some grizzled old woman serving egg whites and Dana Whites. <laughs> Still cheaper than a UFC pay-per-view and probably better combat. Yeah, yeah uh, unpopular opinion, war trophies are kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. I know you're here, NCIS, I don't care. You can't talk about it.
for those of you that are a little left out on the joke because you're popular in high school and don't know what a war zone <laughs> is. The same way that if your family goes on vacation somewhere, they might bring back a snow globe. Us military folks might bring back a little trophy or souvenir ourselves, right? You know, it's kind of cool. If your grandfather fought in World War II, it's pretty cool. If he brought home, say, like, uh, a Japanese flag or a Nazi flag and he put it on the wall, pretty cool war trophy, right? If your grandfather has a Confederate flag on the wall, <laughs> uh, not so cool. <laughs> a little, as the kids these days, uh, hashtag problematic. <laughs> Yeah, Confederate flag grandpa is the one that makes Thanksgiving real awkward. <laughs> immediately everything he posts on Facebook has a little fact check thing by it. <laughs> Confederate flag grandpa, not a fan of Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> It's not that I'm on the flavors, I just think they're better separate. Ow! <laughs> Grandpa, shut up! <laughs> I'm not even gonna tell you guys how he feels about rainbow servers. <laughs> you guys have been awesome! That's my time! Let's go, Caps! Hey!